Hello everyone, I've got a new project. Picked up another Venom. Now it's a non-runner, non-starter. It's got its fair share of problems I need to find out on this little thing. I mean, there's a few things from the off one, the battery's dead completely. Can't get any power in it. So I'm gonna have to sort of get a new battery for it. But so far, the joys I've got to start off with, back brakes are seized on, that won't move. Number plate light wasn't working, I'm probably just above. There's my cat, look, my little silly cat. So he's put these LEDs on there, but I'll get it all wired back in properly. I need to find out why the uh, why it's a non-stop. Now the previous owner says he believes it was the head gasket had gone because he said there's evidence of oil leaking down, but we'll uh, we'll pull it apart, and make our own assumptions. So I'm gonna have to clean the carb out, sort the air filter out. Possibly, I'll start off doing the, the uh, valve clearances first, because I reckon that's probably why it's not starting anyway. But for the main part of it, oh, here he comes, look. Look, this noisy thing. Look at this noisy thing. And uh, one of them's missing, but I have a spare one of them. Brake lever's a bit bent out of shape. Oh, and the other thing is, the centre stand is snapped on the other side, so I've got to put a new centre stand on it. A few little jobs to do, and we'll get it up for an MOT, and see how it goes. Well, she runs just nice and low mileage on it as well. Right. well I think I'll be uh, nicking the old LED headlight for mine, I like that. But, I can only get it a wide at the minute, she needs a lot of playing around with. Because if I try and introduce any sort of rev, she wants to die. Bogs out, see? I'm going to leave her idling for 10, 10 15 minutes. Better warm myself up. Well. I'm in the mirror. Well, she definitely needs some carb tuning, but she's there. So much for it being a non runner. But I'm going to buy a carb rebuild kit for it. Sort out the brakes, sort out the centre stand, sort out the number plate lights, MOT it, and she'll be good to go. But she runs. Lovely little thing. Back brake is definitely binding on though. Front brakes, I'm not too sure about. Maybe have a look at whether I've got a leak there or not. Probably have, because they need a bit of a look. Oh, look at that, that's awful, isn't it? That really does need cleaning up. But, she's there. I mean, you can sort of see the oil leak a little bit, what he's going on about. I'll clean it off and make sure if it's anything or not. And then, yeah, I've kind of put a battery on it though, laying around. Yeah, good as gold. Still works. <coughs> Alright, let's start with the first job, which is getting the centre stand off, which is a case of, well, a little pin there, take the spring off, pull the pin out, switch it over. So, give me a minute, I should get Right, so the centre stand has decided it does not want to come off. You see, I've been pounding on it, it just will not budge, so it's going to quite heat. Yeah, maybe just an angle grinder. I'll cut straight for it. So I thought I'd have a look at the back brake. So I pulled the caliper off, and this one here, this slider, is C solid. This one has got a bit of movement, that one's stuck, and that's why the brakes are stuck on. So as soon as I get this released, I'm going to try and undo that one because you can get to the hex on it, and then see if I can wiggle this one with a bit of rotational. Then I should be able to just clean them up, throw it back together, and it should be all right. So let's see if I can get that off. Alright, so the caliper's off, further inspection. And it's dead, look, the seal's coming out of there. Too much corrosion on the piston. It's seized up. Good and proper. So, I add one of them to my shopping list. So I need one of them. I'm probably going to need a new pin for the centre stand because that's just seized in place and dead. I'm probably going to cut that off. 
carburetor rebuild kit. I've still got to do, I've got to strip all him out. So I can't leave that like that. But other than that, today's a success because it ran. Look at all this stuff here. I hate when all this goes like this. It takes ages to clean it off. Um, oh well, we'll get it right before we worry about how clean it is. I've got to take these uh, old LEDs off. Only one of them works anyway. Other than that, yeah, she's a lovely little bike. Won't be long. Right. Let's go spend some money. Alright, so I've just finished tidying up for the night. It's getting a bit dark, I'll leave it for now. So, in summary, it ran. Okay, it's got a little bit of an oil leak coming between the head gaskets. Well, I think it's the, well, yeah, between the head gasket, probably from the timing chain gasket. I've got a couple of little rubber grommets missing there and there. There's a very big 17 tooth so uh, sprocket there, which made it very difficult to get the cover off. But I've got a 16 tooth sprocket laying around, so I've changed that down to a 16 tooth sprocket. The chain's disgusting, all these cleaning up. All the frame I'll have cleaned up. Caliper, I'm going to order a replacement caliper because that's knackered. I'm going to try cleaning out the carburetor first before I do anything with that. And the, uh, the valve adjustment. So I'll do the valve adjustment, do the carburetor, do the stanchion tubes, clean the chain off, clean all the gunk off of there, put fresh chain wax on it, sort the number plate light out, lose those LEDs. I'm frightened for an MOT. Oh, we've got to lose the LED out of the headlight as well because I don't think that's MOTable, but I'll just swap that with my Venom because I like it anyway. But yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll update as we go. Oh, yeah. Battery, forgot about it. Got a service kit for it as well. All right, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later on.